Well, hello everyone. Thought I'd give y'all uh, a one year later video on my uh, on my Scarebird brake upgrade. Now, one thing I did want to mention right off is that uh, Scarebird is, is at this time is no longer offering the kit that I purchased. So um, they're do they are offering a kit that uses uh, smaller calipers that is supposed to be compatible with factory 14 inch wheels so uh, for those of y'all who don't like to upgrade your wheels but you still want to have disc you have an option and i contacted them regarding uh, my concerns about that kit actually working good enough to actually stop stop a car because the calipers they're using is off of a 1990s chevrolet celebrity and uh, they said that uh, the calipers actually work actually work uh, uh, very well. But uh, back to my kit, uh, the one I purchased uh, has been working very well. You get a look through the wheel at them. There's the caliper right there. Before I go underneath, yes, I do have a leak. It's my power steering output shaft seal is leaking. So it's kind of seeping a little bit. But everything looks good. Hang on, I'm trying to focus. There we go. Everything looks good. I haven't had any rattles whatsoever. I haven't had any problems turning from uh, from uh, all the way left to all the way right. So it's definitely looking very good. And those uh, eighth inch wheel spacers I had to get. I, I think it was eight eighth inch. Uh, the wheel spaces I had to get are working working very well. I haven't I haven't had any issues with anything rubbing. The only issue I'm having is how hard I have to push the pedal. Of course, some of that could be the cam that I have because the cam I have does not have a lot of vacuum, and uh, that has probably got some probably got something to do with it. But I have heard that people doing upgrades uh, like this um, have gotten different master cylinders. I just got one for a 68 charger with disc, and that's what I put on, because that that's just what that was just the first thing easy. That was just the easiest thing that that came to my mind. Some people did suggest other things. I just need to do my research. I thought about getting a Willwood master cylinder. I know those are really expensive, but this one's this one's working fine. Uh, I also thought about getting a vacuum pump or a secondary canister, putting another canister in somewhere, like my vacuum canister right here that helps operate my headlights or the headlight doors right there. I thought about adding in another canister. Or just getting another pump but I heard the pumps are loud I guess I'll just have to get one and then uh, hook it up and then see how loud it is and see, see if I can deal with it or just deal with it like it is and just uh, try to play around with the different master cylinders and uh, just see what I can get but other than that no, I mean it's it's done very well I am I am very happy with the kit and I would highly recommend Scarebird. I will be do I will be getting a kit for my truck, and I will be doing a how-to video on the truck like I did with the Charger. I just gotta wait till I have the cash to get the kit. But uh, there it is. There's my update. And I am, and I do apologize for not having videos all the time. But um, I will not. I don't want to have videos just to have videos. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to have filler content. So uh, if y'all have something that that y'all want me to uh, uh, to put on video to show, and that I haven't already covered, leave a comment or or shoot me an email. I'll put my email in the uh, com in the uh, in the in the description of this video. Y'all can send me an email with uh, with video with video suggestions. But uh, I do have a couple of projects lined up. I just haven't done it. I've got a sure grip rebuilt and ready to go in this thing. I'm just a little uh, worried about actually uh, taking apart that, that chunk myself. I might try to find somebody that can do it for me. 
as I've just never, I've never, I never touched the rear ends, and I know those those tolerances are uh, have to be precise, otherwise you'll get whines and stuff will uh, will not work right. And I do also have the transmission to still go in my truck that I have not done yet. Uh, when I was in my last in my storage building, I remembered that I forgot to put an upgrade piece in it. I think it's uh, anchor. I, I think that's what it's called. It, it uh, goes from the uh, exterior adjustment, uh, the exterior band adjustment screw to one of the bands on the inside of the transmission. I, I forget which which band that's for, but uh, I have an upgraded piece for that that I had that, that I just completely forgot about. But yeah, there's my update on a uh, 64 degree February evening gotta love the south i'll see you later